What I like in agriculture is to go to the fields, the open skies, to the grass, to the land, feel it, smell it. Every morning, it's make me a happy man. When I see a plant starting right from the beginning, growing up, flowering, and then gives the, the, the fruit, it gives me some kind of feeling which is hard to explain, but I feel it's like a, a life, a full story of life. Exactly 60 years ago, July 1953, we came here as a group of youngsters, boys and girls, to establish a kibbutz on the border in order to flowering the, the, the Negev desert, actually. At that time we came, we found a real desert. It was a, a, a really a mission to one hand to protect the land, for the other hand to cultivate the land, because we believe by cultivation and sitting on the place, that is the best protection uh, for Israel. The need of water in agriculture is crucial. In the Negev, without water, we cannot do agriculture. Water is the, the, I would say, drug of life or the source of life. Without water, the yields are very, very poor. You can make hardly a profit from the land. More water means better economy and better life for the settlements in the Negev. Every year we have about 550 million cubic meters of sewage. If we take this amount, take all the pollutants out, then we have a new source guaranteed amount of water for irrigation. It's a kind of miracle to make out of um, garbage, of sewage, uh, pure, wonderful water. This is the way uh, we can flourish the desert. This is the way we can be attracted for new families and to build the area attached, attached to the Gaza Strip. It is nothing but a revolution. For the last 13 years, we are challenged by terror from many types. Uh, they shoot at us um, rockets and mortars. Uh, they dug tunnels in order to infiltrate to Israel and to our uh, kibbutzim. Hundreds of, of bombs uh, uh, fell in, in the kibbutz it, itself. Shara Negev uh, settlements are the gate watchers of, uh, of Israel. That's what we are doing all our life. This is exactly what we're going to do in the next generations. We were the human shield of Israel. Our children grown under this threat. It's not easy to live here as a family, but we are still here. We want to live here. This is our home. We're not going to leave it. We feel that this is our task, that is our duty to stay here. This is our land. We love it. We love the land. We are cultivating the, the land. We feel connection. Our children grown up, now our grandchildren are, are, are here. New people arriving here to live with good education, good community. This region is um, coming back to life. And thanks to the GNF Australia, we feel that we can go ahead and develop the Negev desert. If these communities live well, if these communities are strong, Israel is strong. I want to express my appreciation to Kakal JNF Australia and letting us bring our agriculture to a new stage. Now we can see the future, live our dreams. I can know that my family can live from the agriculture in this area.